Hi and welcome to this quick start guide on how to use Robox Real Robot Lab. So the first thing you have to do to use the Real Robot Lab is book a session. So if you go to the left panel you can see Real Robot Lab and we can do a book a session. Then here you select the robot you want, in this case it's only available TurtleBot 3 and I select one of the time frames that I can use. They are divided in 30 minute sessions, it's 25 minute sessions and here I'm going to select the one of 12 p.m. Hit continue and I check that everything is okay and confirm. And there you have it. So now I can see that I have a reservation here. If you want to remove it, just click here, remove, and it will remove the reservations that you don't need. For, for the moment, it uh, depends on your subscription, but you'll be able to book one session per week. Okay, so now that we have the session, we can go to our dashboard and we can see that here there's a notification that in 16 minutes I will be able to access the real robot. So I can wait here in the dashboard or I can launch my project and start working on my algorithms. The project uh, will be the link in the video description you just have to click that link and it will automatically copy the project with everything you need to get started in your uh, my project space so you can open any project you want uh, for version melodic but we provide this one which has everything you need with the simulation and some basic algorithms for navigation and image recognition. So let's run it. And there we have it. So in this project, you can see that you have a notebook where you have all the instructions to launch the simulation and also how to connect to the real robot, which is what we are going to show you here. So now, because we have a, a session booked, we have all the bookings that, uh, that we have here. So in this case, I have one for today at 12 p.m. and I have another one for the 28th uh, at 8 uh, p.m. So I have to wait. So you can see that it's five minutes remaining and if you go to the dashboard, you can also he see here that four minutes remaining and then you can go to the rush decks or check your bookings just in case. So five seconds left. And there we go. So now we are able to turn it off and on and we have here our 25 minutes left. And as you can see now, our session is active. And also we have this tiny icon here, which show us, shows us the live stream of, uh, of what's happening right now in the real robot. Okay, so now the robot is for us and only for us for the next 25 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is turn it on with this tiny icon here. This will restart the, the shells, as you can see. So it configures our shells to be ready to connect to the real robot. In this case, to robot three. Okay, once that's done, we can open the web shells.
and cross the list. There you go. So now we have the topics from the robot. This means that if I do ROS topic, ROS topic echo, and let's say the laser scan, there we go. Let's open RVIS and same way you do it with the simulation, you can do it with the real robot. So there we go. So now we add our image. For example, there we go. We open the image. Does it bigger? Okay. As you can see, it's real footage from the real robot. And now let me add the lasers. Topic scan. There we go. So we have our laser from the real robot. That's quite it. So let me just do it a bit bigger, the image. I think it's this thing. Okay. So we have this. There we go. And now I can open another terminal and move the robot, for example. Let me just put it here. Cross run keyboard. Okay, just note that there's a speed limit for security reasons. So you can't exceed certain speeds. We have it here, the numbers, the exact numbers. It's, uh, let me just show you. There we go. So we can't exceed 0 0.19 in linear speeds and angular 0 0.49. So please take care about that, uh, just for security reasons and also because we have to take care of the material of everyone. So otherwise, if you break it, then another user, the next user, will have to wait. Okay, so let's move it. There we go. So you can see that there's there's a delay between the Arvis data and the the camera. So Arvis data is coming directly from the robot while the camera is being live transmitted, so it's much slower. So let's move the robot around. As you can see in, in the topics, it's quite fast. So Okay, as you can see, I exceeded the speed. So now let me stop it. Lower the speeds. Okay. Go. And there you have it. So we are controlling a robot, a real robot, remotely. And it's as simple as this. So Roblox allows you to do this very, very easily. And this is just the tip of the iceberg because you can use this for AI, for navigation, for anything you want to teach your students uh, using first the simulation and then the real robot, everything. And it's as simple as you, uh, as you can see. And you'll be able to use it as long as this time doesn't run, run out. Uh, you, 
in your, normally you can book only one session per week for the moment in future releases and in future subscriptions maybe it will be different and basically now we're going to wait until it it ends okay so there's just eight seconds remaining from our session so let's have a look what happens and there you go so now we don't have any connection and that's it any questions post it in the comments below and we would like to see everyone using the Roblox real robot lab um, to teach and to do their experiments so thanks and see you in the next one